afternoon guys welcome back to my youtube channel god it's super sunny um sam is here with me sam has a day off today so we are actually on our way to the beach we're going to liverpool which is like our closest beach um so yeah i just thought i would vlog today I haven't really been feeling too good like this last week i was kind of doing my period and stuff like that so i just haven't really been up for vlogging but I feel good today um well I've still got quite bad period pain so it's definitely TMI um but I feel like more motivated and stuff today so I actually got up did my hair put some makeup on and we are just gonna head to the beach because I feel like that is the nicest thing to do it's such a nice sunny day as well um so yeah I love going to the beach in this weather so I thought I would bring you along with me and I also have loads of parcels to unbox when we get home as well so I thought yeah. that would be <laughs> I thought that would be nice for you guys to see as well we've got Raph in the back with us i don't know if you can see him i think he's lying down i was asleep um oh my goodness it is such a nice day i feel like we needed this it's been so it's cold, crap though. yeah but i love these cold sunny days they're like what i live for in the winter i'm gonna try and put you down here sorry the light is all kinds of weird there we go uh yeah so i'm gonna head to the beach might try and get some lunch somewhere we actually got starbucks this morning which was lovely a uh, little treat um and then yeah maybe we'll try and get some lunch out here and just go for a nice long walk. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's all our plans, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I'll probably catch up with you properly when I'm not in the car because I know that the uh, noise of the car is really, really annoying in the background of vlogs. So I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh my goodness, it is such a beautiful day. So we have just got here. So we're just heading this way to go to the beach. I'm so excited. I feel like I haven't been to the beach in so long. Oh, it's actually freezing though. I thought I would be all right in this, but I didn't wear a hat and I should have. But my coat is from Arquette, if anyone's wondering. Um, and then I've just got Adnola leggings on, got my New Balance trainers, and then this is just like a roll neck from Zara. Oh, he's doing a poo, Sam. Good start. Um, right, and then right, my, <laughs> my sunglasses are from Ganny. Are they Ganny? Yeah, I think they're Ganny. So yeah. Sam, smile and wave. <laughs> the beach is literally deserted. It's so nice when you come here during the week because it's really, really quiet. On a weekend, it can get quite busy. But as you can see, there's literally like barely anyone here. It's just so nice. And it's such a big beach as well, especially when the tide's out. So lovely. Ah, oh, I really feel like I needed this. Just like nice sea air, you know? <laughs> oh, so nice. He absolutely loves it. We brought his tennis ball, which he loves. <laughs> Ready? <gasps> I feel like people might want to know where your outfit's from, Sam. Babes. So let's do a little OOTD. Shoes are Nike. Dunkies. Dunks. These are your Seven new. Layer. Cargoes layer from seven. yeah, this like independent brand called Seven Layer, but they're really good because they're like water resistant, aren't they? Yeah, they're so comfy. Um, and then Supreme. We said this looked like an IKEA bag earlier. Yeah, <laughs> Supreme IKEA bag puffer and Supreme hat. Supreme oh. everywhere. Ah, uh, not on the new cargoes. Bless him, he's so hot. He's yeah. dug into the ground to find some cool sand. <laughs> Sam's out here trying to get a artist shot of him in portrait mode. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> Days without water and long sun so grown. We cross over borders. I keep changing sunglasses in this vlog because I really like these sunnies but I feel like the other ones look better in pictures and stuff. Um, anyway, so the sun is setting in an hour. Here it is, here. Uh, yeah, the sun's setting in an hour so we thought we might go and grab a hot chocolate and get a blanket from the car and sit and watch the sunset while we're here because I feel like it's not often you get a day like this in January and it's not often that we're at the beach either so. Yeah, I think we're gonna go and do that, but we've only got an hour to run and get a hot chalk and then come back here, so yeah. So we just got our hot chocolate and we're just sat watching the sunset. It's 
So we are just home from the beach now. That was honestly such a lovely afternoon, evening. It literally, like, I needed it so much. Um, I've just been feeling a little bit, like, low and kind of, I don't know, just a bit down in January, really. And I feel like I get like this most Januarys. I find January a really difficult month. Um, I just find, like, it's so grey and miserable outside. So I find that really demotivating and, you know, just a bit, just crappy, really. Um... And then I don't know. I just I just find it a difficult month in general. Uh, ideally, I'd love to like be away in the Maldives or something for like the whole of January, but that is obviously not happening this year, or hasn't happened any other year either. <laughs> I don't know why I was acting like it was going to happen. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just find January quite a difficult month. There's just like a lot of pressure for the year um, and a lot of catching up from Christmas and stuff, and you know all of that sort of thing. So. Yeah, I actually popped something about that on my Instagram the other day and a couple of people sort of messaged me like just take January to like reset and sort of start again in Feb. Um, January is just the month for like chilling and, you know, um, saving money and just like focusing on yourself. And I thought, you know what, that's actually so true. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I've also been struggling a little bit at the minute um, with my hormones. They're just seems to be a little bit messed up at the minute and I don't really know why like my periods are really messed up which they never normally are um I'm getting like really like this is again TMI but I'm getting like quite reg um, quite random periods where I used to get very regular ones um my skin is the worst it's ever been um I've got quite a lot of like hormonal spots and stuff which is getting me down um <laughs> And yeah, I don't know if it's, I, I don't know if it's hormone related or if it's stress related. Uh, my hair is also in really bad condition. I feel like it's like broken a lot at the front. Um, so yeah, I don't know, just all these things are just like kind of bothering me at the minute. So I definitely just needed to like get out in the fresh air and we watched the beautiful sunset and I don't know, it just puts like life into perspective a little bit and made me realize how lucky I am to have Sam and Rafi for a start and also just to live in such a beautiful area and be able to go and see the sunset and yeah all of those things so anyway enough of my moaning now but i did just want to explain like for anyone else who's like interested or anyone not interested but anyone else that kind of feels the same in january it's just a month that i really have struggled with um so yeah i've been very quiet on instagram and stuff because of that um but yeah i do feel like i'm kind of like slowly getting more into it um but anyway 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 I digress. I actually came here to show you some purchases that I've made. I mean, this is classic me and the way that I like deal with things. If I'm feeling a bit down, I'm like straight on to like Zara or whatever and do some internet shopping because that often tends to cheer me up. But I've got a look fantastic order that I did um, because I wanted to get a few bits and bobs and it was one of those late night ones that ended up turning into quite an expensive order. So I thought I would unbox it here with you. I don't actually rarely buy, uh, like, Raph, you're really in the way. Yeah, okay. Raph, where's daddy? Good boy. So I don't normally do, like, big orders of new stuff. I do normally stick to what I know quite a lot of the time. And then I am also obviously really lucky in the sense that I get sent um, PR packages and stuff sometimes. But there were just, like, a few bits that I wanted to try. And then once I was on there, I was just, like, scrolling through. And I just got sucked in by quite a few bits. So I thought I'd show you. And also Look Fantastic do always have really good discounts. And I think that is actually what sucked me in. Because I think loads of stuff was discounted. And then I got an extra like 20% off it because I used someone's code online. So I'll link that down below and I'll pop a code if I can find one down below. So where to start? Okay. So first up. I bought some of these. So these are Hairburst hair vitamins. I <laughs> can see Rafi approaching. 
Um, and yeah, as I was just saying, I'm really struggling at the minute with my hair. It's like breaking right at the front loads and I don't know what it is. I feel like I'm losing quite a bit of hair and that's not really something that I've ever kind of dealt with before. Like I've always, always, always bleached my hair and I've never really had a problem with it. It's always been quite strong. Uh, I've had extensions for over a year now and I didn't really, I don't think it's the extensions because you know, this is something that's only just started happening. So I don't know if it's like hormone related or stress related possibly. So they're just the hair burst, chewable hair vitamins. They look like this. Uh, most of the reviews said they didn't really see a difference until they'd taken about three bottles of this. So I think that's like three months worth. So I'm gonna try and keep at it and hopefully that will help because coming up to the wedding and stuff, I wanna have like really nice, strong, healthy hair. So yeah, I got that. That was kind of what influenced me to start the order. And then going on the hair front, oh my goodness, that is the biggest bag of salt ever. Going on the hair front, I bought this. So I love the Kerastase products, um, but I really like the look of this and I was just checking out all the reviews and stuff. This had really good reviews. So it is an anti-hair fall fortifying shampoo for dry weakened hair that's prone to falling due to breakage. And I felt like that kind of summed me up right now. <laughs> so I thought I would give this a go. So that's the shampoo and that is the conditioner. A lot of the reviews said their hair felt really, really strong and hydrated and stuff like that afterwards. So I thought I would try them. I'll let you know how I get on if I can remember. <laughs> I always say that and then I feel like I don't. But yeah, it had quite good reviews, so I thought I would give it a go. I was going to get some of the Grow Gorgeous stuff, uh, because I've seen loads of people talk about them online as well, but the reviews weren't as good as this stuff, so I thought I'll try this first, see how I get on, and then if not, I'll try the Grow Gorgeous. Next up, I got one of these. So this is the Waleda Skin Food. So again, talking about skin, I, I've had quite a lot of like under the skin spots, but I've also had really, really dry skin with the weather, uh, and this is like the most thick like nourishing cream you'll ever come across it definitely isn't one that i'd sort of use all the time but when my skin is feeling really really dry it's like brilliant it's honestly so thick it's almost like waxy it's that thick um but also a lot of muas use it as a primer underneath makeup and they say that it works really really well for that so i thought i could use it for that as well uh so yeah that's that Again, on the hair, I bought some of the Olaplex bonding oil. This was a bit of a TikTok made me buy it. Uh, I love Olaplex. I love all of the stuff they do, but this is the only thing I've not tried from them, I think. And a lot of people on TikTok rave about it. And it had, again, really good reviews. So I thought maybe this would help to just like help nourish my hair. Comes in such a small bottle and it was probably really expensive. But it just says reduces frizz and flyaways, extends color and renews vibrancy, heat protection, shortens drying time, that's good softens and detangles, UV protection, and yeah. So I thought I would give that a little go. Next up, I got a NYX lip gloss. I really wanted to get the shade Madeline, but they didn't have it. So I quite like the look of this shade. I think it's called Tiramisu. But yeah, these are really, really good, inexpensive glosses. Uh, and they last for ages as well. So pick that up. Then I've got a clear brow mascara. This is Wet n Wild Mega Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. I like using this on my brows. It was literally two pounds. I've not tried this one before, but I've used another one before. I've used the Collection 2000 one before. Uh, but yeah, I just find these to be really, really good, especially when you've had your brows laminated, if you just wanna keep them in the like shape you want them and keep them nice and like, like moisturized because sometimes the lamination can make them a bit dry. Uh, then yeah, I picked that up. So next up with the dry skin situation I'm facing, this had incredible reviews. It's the Vichy uh, Mineral 89 Fortifying and, and Plumping Daily Booster. So it's 89% mineralizing water and hyaluronic acid. And honestly, this just had the best reviews. It just said it was so hydrating and this, like people's skin just felt so good after using it. And that it was like a miracle product basically. So I'm a sucker for a good review. I really, really am. But yeah, that's what it looks like. There's loads in there, so that would last me for ages. So I'm gonna give that a try tonight and see how I get on with it. Okay, next up, I did not realize this bag was gonna be quite so big. Oh God, that's actually hurting to hold it up. 
but these are Epsom bath salts. I've been doing quite a lot of working out recently and my muscles have been really, really sore and I love me a bath and I saw these on there and I don't have any bath salts and loads of people said they were so, so good for like muscle aches and pains and stuff. And also they were just great on uh, your skin, like really moisturizing. So yeah, picked up a big old bag of that. I picked up a heat protect spray from GHD. I needed one. Uh, another thing that I think might not be helping my hair is that I stopped using a heat protect spray. So I'm gonna get back onto that. And then I picked up some of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. This is one of the best dry shampoos out there, but it is so expensive. So I don't use it very often. Uh, and I ran out of my other one and I just went back to using like Batiste and the kind of more inexpensive brands. And they are still good as dry shampoos go. I do really like them still, but this just lasts so much longer and it doesn't leave your hair feeling like chalky at all. And yeah, I mean, it, it says here it actually cleans hair and I actually do feel like it does. Whereas I feel like the Batiste dry shampoo kind of just covers it for a few hours, if you know what I mean. But this lasts, um, and yeah, I really like it, but it is so expensive for what it is, but you know, it does work really well. So I picked that up and then when I was getting that, I also saw this. So this is the Living Proof, um, Raph is Sam's doing dinner in the kitchen. Um, Living Proof Full Dry Volume and Texture Spray. Again, this had really, really good reviews and I like to curl my hair, as you can see. And I don't wanna put hairspray in it because I feel like that makes your hair go so crunchy, but I want like a texture kind of spray or something to just give it that volume and help it kind of last essentially. And again, the reviews on this look really good. So yeah, that is the last thing that I got in my Look Fantastic order. So quite a few bits there. I actually spent a small fortune. I'm gonna link them all down below. I'm gonna try a couple bits tonight. So, you know, if I'm still vlogging, tomorrow i'm not sure how long this vlog's gonna go on for i'll let you know how i get on with them but yeah they are my beauty and skincare and hair care bits so very excited to start trying them i also thought whilst i was here i could show you the bits and mobs that i picked up from amazon because i got quite a big amazon order through i don't know if i've got everything yet but you know how it comes in like bits and pieces but the first thing I got was this book. So this is the Peak District 40 Favourite Walk. We have another one of these books and they're just really, really good for, like I always find myself typing into Google like best walks in the Peak District or whatever and you end up just like going through so much and I don't know, I just find it quite difficult to find good walks doing that. And Sam and I love going on walks in the Peak District. So uh, yeah, I found this book online and it's really good because it will just put like, for example, a walk like this, and it'll have like a little picture, it have the map, it tells you how long it is, like how difficult it is and stuff, and then it gives you instructions. And we did one of the walks from the other book that we have recently, and it was really, really easy to follow. Like the instructions were so good, and we just, we had such a nice walk, and one that we definitely wouldn't have found otherwise. So I found one for the Peak District, and they also do loads of different ones. They do loads in Scotland, they do um, like a Lake District one, there's like a Yorkshire Dales one, I think. Uh, there's a Devon one, a Cornwall one, loads of different ones. And yeah, I just really, really rate them. They're very, very easy to understand, like the instructions. And also where the book is quite small, this fitted in my pocket, so we took it with us so that we could like, you know, read the instructions as we were going along. Um, but yeah, so if anybody is a keen walker or has a dog, or maybe this would also make a really good present for anyone, actually it's just a really good simple book and i really like it so yeah i picked that up next up i think i'm gonna have to put a picture of this on screen but this is for my dressing room slash office so i think you'll remember in the last vlog i put together some well i put, i did not put them together <laughs> I had someone come and put together the Ikea drawers and I said that I would show you me styling them and filling them when I've still left them, especially for you guys, so I haven't done anything with them yet. Uh, and I've just ordered a couple bits from Amazon to style them up with and stuff. Uh, and this is a handbag holder. So it's like a metal handbag holder. So I thought it'd be nice one to have on there when I'm like filming reels and stuff. I thought it'd be nice to like have my handbag there um, or maybe just pop my bag that I'm using all the time on there. And yeah, so I just got it on Amazon. It said it wasn't gonna come till February, so quite sharp that that's already arrived. So that's that one. And then I've got a big old box here and I'm not actually sure what's in it. It's really heavy. You know, it's just one of those situations where you've been adding things to your Amazon basket for ages and then you don't check out for so long and then finally 
and check out with all of it. Okay. Okay, so first up, this is really boring, but this is wood floor cleaner. This is the cleaner that we use for our floor. I'd run out, so I bought a refill uh, carton. So yeah, that's that. Not overly exciting. Then next up, I bought this book. So this is the Architectural Digest at 100, a century of style book. I love this book so much. It's such a cool one. I actually have one on our coffee table, which you might have seen, but I got this to style up my dressing room upstairs. I always feel like if you really like a book, then it doesn't matter if you have like two copies of it. Uh, it's just great for styling. Uh, it just looks great in the background of things. And yeah, I really like it. It's very like simple and neutral because it's got a really, really nice like canvassy linen cover. I don't know how well you can see that because, hang on, I'll open it. So next up, this is such like a typical blogger thing to buy, but I bought a clip on selfie ring light. The lighting at the minute has really been getting me down, like when I'm doing like talking stories and stuff on Insta. So I thought, you know what, why don't I just get a little ring light that I can just pop on the top of my phone and then hopefully the lighting will be better. I did obviously get the bigger one in Ikea, uh, which is great for like when I'm at home and stuff, but when I'm like out and about, I just thought this was great. It's got a little on and off button at the back there and it just charges with the USB thing. Let's try it. Actually, it's going to be charged. <gasps> it's charged. Oh my God, it's a little bit like a lightsaber. This might be a bit bright, I don't know. It's a bit blue, the light, isn't it? Oh, it's actually quite good. I'm quite impressed with that. I don't know how I can show you. Mm, how will I show you? Hang on. Okay, so this is obviously with the light on quite confusing <laughs> this is with the light on i don't know how well it's going to come up on camera oh and that's turning it down a bit oh different color it's like a orangey color that's nice if you want it a bit more subtle and then that's off can you see the difference so much better ah <gasps> where has this been all of my life <gasps> oh my god wow life changing I actually cannot believe I've been a blogger for like, how long has it been now? Like four years? I never thought to buy one of these. <gasps> They're so good. That'd be so good for like makeup stories and stuff. Ah, <gasps> brilliant. Okay. Well, I'm very chuffed with that. So portable as well. Like if you did want to take it like on holiday with you or whatever, very, very happy with that. I think it was literally like five pounds as well. Okay, next up I bought some storage bags for the drawers uh, in, my dressing room that I was just talking about. I was struggling to find ones that were the right depth and these were, oh, hang on, camera's gonna die, bear with. There we go. Yeah, sorry, I was struggling to find ones that were the right depth and these were. So I'm probably better off showing you these when they're actually like in the drawers. But yeah, they are just some drawer thingies. And then lastly, oh, this is such a good Amazon haul. Lastly, I got these. These are like storage containers for our pantry. You guys obviously saw me sort the pantry out. And I thought I would get some of these for cereal because we're really bad at like using cereal and not closing up the bag well and then they go stale. So I thought these would be better for that. So yeah, that was my Amazon haul. Quite chuffed with those bits actually. I'm very excited to like use them. Buzzing about this. So buzzing. Right, I'm gonna get some dinner now. Okay, can I just say this has changed my life. You guys are not gonna be able to get rid of me on Instagram now. I love it. Um, what was I saying? I just went online, online? <laughs> I just went on Instagram and did that look fantastic haul. So I'm really sorry if you've watched the stories and now you just have to watch it again. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, I've been a bit crap with Instagram content recently. So I thought I'll go on and show those bits on Insta. Oh, I believe dinner's ready. Let's go see what we've got. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Can we talk about what Sam has just created? <gasps> This is incredible. It looks unreal. What is it? Sea bass with Cajun. Hello, we have sea bass with Cajun spice mix, um, potato and sweet potato rough mash with cavernero, <laughs> seasoned with a paprika, chive, and lemon zest dressing. Lovely. What accent was that? I don't really know. So these are the drawer dividers that I got from Amazon. So they fit perfectly, actually. I'm really happy. There's a little bit of space at the side, but. They fit really good, like height-wise, which is great. 
So I think I'm going to put socks and maybe pants in here because I'll show you how my socks are at the minute and you'll understand why I feel like these are going to be so much better. So this is my sock situation at the minute. So I can just never like find them, like the ones that I want. And if I do find them, I end up making such a mess. So I feel like it's going to be so much better when, for example, they're just put in like that. Oh my God, I'm really excited by this. So I actually got halfway through that task and I decided it was actually a little bit weird to show you the inside of my underwear drawer. So sorry, you won't be seeing a satisfying after, but hopefully the storage has like helped if anyone's looking for some storage. Anyway, I am gonna head off to bed now because I'm so, so tired and yeah, I'm just ready for bed. So I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, happy Friday. Oh my God, happy Friday, it's Friday today. Um, and I'm just off for a meeting, sorry, it's quite dark. I'm just off for a meeting, so I thought I would show you what I'm wearing because I feel like this would be what I would wear if I worked in like a smart casual office, you know? Uh, so I just have on my black Zara coat over the top and then underneath I have this jumper from H&M and then I have these black wide leg trousers. I know you can't see them very well, sorry. These black wide leg trousers, there you go from river island and then i just have my converse on so yeah super kind of casual but still smart look and then i have this necklace on from Alighieri, and then i have quite a few bracelets on today i've got this one from monica vinida and then this one is from oh misoma and then the chain <clears throat> and then the chain one there is from majuri and then rings wise, this diamond one there is Monica Vinida, and then the one above is a vintage one from Forage and Find, and then my engagement ring. And then on this hand, this one on the middle finger here is Majuri, and then I have my signet ring. And then in my ears, I have these little hoops from Alighieri. And yeah, that's the look. So yeah, I'm just gonna head off for this meeting now. I won't bring you with me because it's just gonna be like a quick, quite boring one that, yeah. I actually can't tell you about either, which is really annoying of me, sorry. Um, but yeah, just thought I would show you the outfit and then I'll come back and chat to you when I'm home. So I have finally got round to editing this vlog and I've realised that I forgot to end it. So I'm really sorry about that. Um, so I'm just coming on to end the vlog and yeah, it is a few weeks ago that I filmed this but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it and I have got quite a few more vlogs coming up um, and a few more videos and stuff too. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!